Hey, Alexandra. Hey, Carlos. It's uh, such a pleasure to meet you. You too. Thank you. Conclave is, is an incredible film. I'm not surprised it's won so many awards already. How did you get cast? Well, it was a, basically a regular casting process. Although uh, behind the casting call that I saw that my agent found, they had already already run a couple of uh, um, casting calls. I think one in the Philippines originally, and then they expanded it. I, I'm not sure how uh, which other regions, but I understand that I answered the third round of casting calls. <clears throat> so that was that was interesting and. Uh, the, and on this side of the world, the casting was uh, coordinated from New York for um, Kathleen Chopin and John Ort. They found me and they put me in front of Nina Gold. So, yeah, basically that was it. And it was uh, um, the first uh, self-tape, then one another um, callback and self-tape, and then a callback live in Rome. They flew me to Rome to do the callback. In front of Nina, Nina Gold, Edward Berger, Tessa Ross, and Andy Cohen. And uh, about a month, almost a month later, they gave me the, the the notice that I had the role. So it was about three months process. Were you nervous? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. From the, when we saw the casting call and I saw that Ray Fiennes was the lead character, the lead uh, player, I... I I set my mind, I had to get this. And, and it started the, the kind of an, the anxiety. So it was a constant work of transforming the anxiety into excitement. Instead of saying, I'm nervous, I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm excited about this. I'm excited over and over and also in Rome. So it was about six months of this excitement going on and, and trying to get used to, to the image of the idea of being in front of Ray Fiennes. What was it like working with Ray Fiennes and, and so many other big name actors? Well, it was, I would say gladly, I was gladly surprised that they are so friendly and so welcoming. Um, as you know, the character is the outsider, the black horse, the dark horse, and I came basically the same way into this production. So it was all intentional to bring um, uh, a newcomer. So this feeling of uh, of a discovery uh, from each other would be mutual and uh, constant along the production. Uh, but um, they made me feel that I belonged there with them. They they gave me some tips, they gave me some advice, they they would support me in every way uh, <clears throat> during the during the breaks, not only people from production, but also uh, the director and uh, the actors would come and uh, and ask me, "Are you okay? You need anything?" Rafe was also very, very uh, caring and very understanding about that. We would work, uh, we would workshop our scenes the night before, and he would give me some tips, some advice about enunciation and <clears throat> these seemingly basic things for acting, but that in the middle of all this uh, excitement kind of slipped sometimes my mind. And I would say, like, he would say, okay, take it easy, breathe, and then go this and this way. And John was, uh, he said, I'm going to be your secret coach from day one. So that was a big, big support. It was amazing. It was really amazing and encouraging. So this is your first feature film. What was the most yeah. surprising thing about being on a film set of this magnitude? Everything. I mean... <laughs> They they gave me the same treatment as the other uh, the rest of the cast. Um, I was uh, I had an experience here in a short film with the students of Capilano, and they were so so professional. So when I arrived I arrived to Rome, I saw this same level of professionalism and and precision and and dedication. So. That wasn't new, but it was a, a very nice uh, thing to find. But uh, to go and and to these locations, to these fantastic palaces, to the the the, the ancient places in Rome around and everything, the the palace in Caserta, these magnificent places that was so uh, shocking and actually that it helps you to get into the role. So that was the most surprising that it would go like. Uh, 
the whole nine yards with the with the production, the sets, the the existing chapel set, so precisely reproduced in this uh, sound studio that was also amazing. You spent four months training for the role. What did that entail? Well, the first thing was obviously the, the lines, to rehearse the lines over and over until I knew them by heart. But also was to study the, the actors, mainly Ray Fiennes. So in order to avoid to be starstruck in front of him on set, I studied uh, interviews, uh, lectures, uh, films, and everything I could find on internet and streaming services. I mean, I put him on the screen and I both pull my chair to the screen and to get used to his expressions, his, uh, his, his breathing, his eyes, his penetrating eyes, and understand where he was given a cue, where he was uh, being uh, uh, all the emotional twists that uh, every, every scene and every line entail. So studying that and also I did the same with, with John, with Stanley and Isabella, although they are, uh, I do not have one-on-one -on -one scenes with them, but also to to get over the excitement to be in front of these giants of, of uh, acting. So it was that and uh, the coaching, the coaching not only during the auditions, but also uh, before starting shooting. So, okay, so I have this idea about doing this line this way and this way. And my coach, uh, James Scott, he was always very, very supportive. And, and uh, he would give me the, the precise notes that later when we were on set, they would just work perfectly so that was that was really really exciting to to work on and it was just study 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 and once in Rome again it was just rehearsing the notes walking around the city taking pictures in the pantheon or the the roman forums and still rehearsing the lines rehearsing the lines if i had some doubt and go back to the hotel review it again and and uh, and do it over you're an architect by trade and yeah. Did you decide to try acting when you moved to Vancouver? Um, I had thought about it. Uh, when I moved to Canada, I arrived to Winnipeg. And I thought about going to workshops over there. But then, well, life happens and I had to move to Vancouver. And uh, uh, I, I was laid off over there. So within my employment insurance, I just put my things in my car and drove all the way to Vancouver. And uh, once I was settled here, I probably... Uh, six years after I arrived, I said, okay, fine. Now, now, it's, now it's about time to do it. Now that we are empty nesters, that we don't have to to worry. Maybe that we didn't have to worry about that. Not that you don't have the, I, we didn't have the focus of the kids at home. That's when I decided, okay, this is this is time to, to learn something new. That's the first thought. I want to learn something new. I don't want to go back to college. I don't have to, I don't have the money to go back to college. So I started looking for something that I could learn on. So, uh, you know, there's so much uh, learning platforms on the internet. I was thinking about uh, maybe some computer engineering or programming or something like that. And then I remember, oh yeah, I have this pending uh, subject of acting since I was in high school. Say, so, okay, maybe this is the time, this is the right time. And I decided to to go all in and that's when the pandemic hit <laughs> but i was lucky to find this um online uh, training and from there on it was online courses and, and training and coaching mostly now, now that the pandemic is gone i i go to my uh my acting coaches uh studio to, to read some lines or to practice but yeah that was it it was um it took me a while uh, some time to to get to get to this and really take it seriously. You're fantastic in this film. Have you had anyone reach out to you about Thank new you. projects? I understand my my manager told me something about it because we don't want to to jump the gun. We're just waiting for all of this to to settle and then we start looking more uh, carefully to to what's next. Yes. My final question is: What kind of a role would you like to play next? You know, uh, since uh, Cardinal Benitez is so deep and spiritual and everything, I would like to play kind of a villain, <laughs> like a, a bad guy or something like that, or more uh, of um, an everyday person in a in a deep emotional uh, situation. I don't know. 
some family drama or something like that, like that requires that like real intense emotions. Either the villain the, or explosive or really evil, maybe not not cruel, but this kind of uh, um, the villains that probably. Um, well, many of these actors have played these really, really awful villains, but they do it so, so good. I mean, Stanley, Stanley Tucci, Ray Fiennes, John Lithgow, they have played assassins and other other members of the cast in Conkley have played uh, spies and hitmen from, for the KGB or things like that. So something like that, something on the line of maybe of uh, slow horses, like the bad guy in a slow horses, something like that would be just amazing. All of those sound fantastic. I would love to see you in something else. And and I just, I enjoyed your performance so much in Conclave. I mean, what a fantastic film. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, you know, it turned out way better than imagine, I imagined. <laughs> when I saw it in the screening, I was like, wow. That's... Yeah. I think everybody is going to say wow when they see it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you again, Carlos. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons, as well as the notification bell in the top right-hand corner if you'd like to see more of my celebrity interviews. I've got a lot more coming up, so please keep checking back.